Now then, YouTube, it's me again. We're back with uh, episode 9 of the Drift Box, and we're still finding that fucking oil link. Now, I have cracked on before I got the camera out this morning because I was fucked off with one bolt. Uh, if you watch previous video, you'll see that I was stuck. Then it rained and so I'll give up. Um, but yeah, I've managed to get that out. And I have removed the timing belt cover. And this is not what you want to see in your timing belt cover. That is a whole shit ton of oil. And I've already started cleaning up a bit here. But I'll go through what I've done on top of what I, where I left it yesterday. Right, I've removed this intake piece here. There. I've removed the throttle body, which is meant because that's fucking disgusting. So I'm going to clean that cunt up. I did undo them two water hoses, I had no choice in the end. The metal two hoses that come across here, I had to disconnect the rubber ones from the end here. I think they're breathers for something, I'm not entirely sure. I've disconnected the throttle cable as well. And yeah, generally swore at it lots and got really sore and bad hands. Now, I'm trying to locate where this oil's coming from. Now. The seal I bought, I suspect, is for the bottom pulley down here, the main pulley. I was kind of hoping the oil was going to be leaking from here, and it's the same seal. But I'm going to be honest, I don't think it is. I think it's further down. And when you get further down here, we have to mess around with this secondary auxiliary drive shaft coupling. And that is a ball ache in itself. And to do that, it needed to be on the ramps because it's so fucking bastard low and like an absolute fucking cock one but I didn't and now there's in no way it can drive onto the ramp so fucking awesome so I'm probably gonna have to do some sort of dodgy jacking it up and supporting it so I don't fucking know it's gonna be some dangerous brine shit I ain't got a clue Right now I'm having a monster break because this is doing my fucking nut. Um, yeah, and then we'll crack back on. We're going to clean up loads of that fucking oil and then see if we can trace this oil leak. I suspect it is the main fucking bottom pulley because um, it's a common fault with these buses. But I won't know until we get in there. So, I'm going to bring you back after I've had a break and then we'll see where we go from there. Rained off again already. Fucking joke this is, bloody UK weather. Uh, but it did say it was supposed to rain all fucking day, so I've done alright to get to like 10 past 11 now without no rain and get all the bits on mobs off. And so I'll continue this if the weather fucking allows me or tomorrow or whatever, or you know what I mean. So um, I cannot find where that fucking oil leak's coming from. Uh, this is gonna turn into being one of these jobs that I really wish I didn't start, but the only other option I had was strip off. All the suspension, take out all of my stereo, weigh the fucker in, and then start going with something else. And that's what I normally do. Normally I throw cars away and I say, fuck it, I'll just get another one. And that's what I usually do. But it's something about this old pile of shit that I like. I don't know what it is exactly, but I've never normally even kept a car this long. Normally I take all the paint off everything and all rust the shit out of it. And but this one, as you can see from there. On my security cameras, obviously. Yeah, so I don't know what it is about this old fucking dog, but I've got too much money in it to give up now and all, so I can't let it defeat me. So we'll see what happens with the weather, and then we'll bring you back, or I'll see you tomorrow, either way. Alright, I'm gonna get this fucking clean, because it's minging, and I've had enough of this cunt. I tried to get it high enough to get underneath it to be able to. F <sighs> it's not working. It's pissing me off. So I'm sacking it off. Two reasons. One, I can't be fucking asked. And B, it's gonna fucking rain again soon. So I'm gonna have a look at this throttle body. Now, usually for stuff like this, and like the engine that I've got covering shit, I would use Mr. Muscle Oven Cleaner. This isn't a paid advert. That's what I would genuinely use. But I am without that. So I'm going to use some silver up brake and clutch cleaner. No, I'm not sponsored, but if they want to, go for it. And a toothbrush. 
Colgate toothbrush. Get a bit of branding in there too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt the fuck out of this. Treat it up a bit. And I'll scrub the shit out of it with that. That. So I don't want to get my camera mucky. I'll get you uh, back out when I've finished. Or well, half and half clean so you can see. It'll look better then. But the brush won't work as good as I'd hoped. That I've done by smushing that in and that and a bit of brush in. That's nearly all out, but it is. Let's see. Well, oh, caked on. Oh, that is disgusting. And that's all because of the EGR valve. Um, so if you refer back to the first video where you'll see where I uh, showed you where I blanked it off on that and the uh, little vacuum thing to pull out. You two can avoid this fucking crap from the EGR valve. It's just recirculating moist shit back through your intake and fucking all your crap up. You don't need that shit, do you? So, yeah. Save yourself from having to do this regularly. Um, yeah, and sort it out. Oh, yeah. A little quick tip of the day and all. If you don't, um, if you have to use old clothes as rags or any clothes, Always make sure they're the wives. Tip of the day. Right, I definitely shouldn't be touching this camera because I am covered. But that is one clean, perfectly usable throat body. Now the problem I'm having here is I can't jack her up high enough to get it so I can get under it. Because even though I've been on a diet for a while and I have lost six stone in weight, I still can't get under that. Now, this is one of the problems with lowering your car stupidly low like this. Now, some people might say, mm, it's your own fault. I'll tell them to go fuck themselves. But, yeah. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Probably some sort of bodgy, stacky, stacky, jacky, jacky. Yeah, you ain't gonna wanna see that. So I'm probably gonna go clean some more oil and stuff up. Um maybe call it a day for today. And we'll crack back on with that tomorrow, weather permitting. Alright, so it's another fucking day and I've got the wife, my beautiful help for today. And plan is to get this fucking bastard thing in the air. Now you're like, oh it is in the air. No, not really, not for a fact come like me. I uh, should have really put it on the ramps before I started, but I fucked up, and now I've took it apart, and I can't get under it. So, what I've done is I've jacked up both sides individually, and I've been a rough bastard, and I've slid the uh, ramps under the fucking front subframe. Both sides, which has only lifted off the floor this much. But I need to get right down in there. And I'm a bit too tubby to get there. So, what I'm doing is now, I'm going to stack a load of fucking slabs here. And then I'm going to stack the jack on top of that. And then I'm going to jack up from the middle of the subframe here. Lift the whole cutting thing up. Quickly slide these bitches out. And hopefully slide them under the fucking wheels. And hopefully do all that without fucking dying. So, um... You'll either see me in a minute when it's done, or the wife will do an outro and explain how sad she is that I died. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I might die. It's not a laughing matter. Fucking women. Right, so we got rained off again, trying to get the car in the fucking air. Uh, it's now another bloody day. Um, today it is fucking windy. And the rain is like dog shit. Um, it's going to be on and off all day. There's not a lot I can do about it. I'm just going to have to crack on. So right now I've sent the wife to go get me some Mr. Muscle uh, from the shop. Not sponsored in any way, shape or form. But this stuff is great for cleaning engines, EGRs, throttle bodies, shit like that. Trust me, you'll see this shit in a minute. I'll also show you how I have got the car off the ground and how... Dodgy, it's fucking sat. It's it's not dodgy, dodgy, but it's not. It's not good. So, 
Um, yeah, and today I need to basically see if this is something that's not going to cost me an arm and leg to fix. Because if it's going to be like three, four, five hundred pounds in parts and repairs, and let's be honest, I can probably buy myself an E46 for that and drift the shit out of that too. So, yeah, so the, today's going to basically be uh, be all or end all for this fucking bus. So, um, what I'm going to do is sort myself out now, just wait for the wife to get back. I'm going to run a big light out there to try and get you lot a bit better view and shit and what have you. And, yeah, see if we can get a good look. And, and then you can see the process of cleaning all this shit off. And then hopefully we're going to see something really obvious that's going to be like a seal or something simple to fix. And then, oh yeah, the whole weight's going to be lifted off my brain and this shit's going to work and it's going to be sick. But no, my luck, it's all going to go tits up and the thing's going to scrap out at the end of the day. Which would be really bad since it's got 800 pound coilovers on it that are under a year old. Yeah. Need to fix it really. What can you do, eh? Right, it's really fucking windy. I'll give you a quick look at the. Uh... Yeah, we're literally sat on the ramps. Not driven on them, they're sat on the subframe. And there's a couple of chocks of wood and bits of slab. Yeah, not ideal, but I think there's enough there for me to get under to do the prop and stuff if I need to. But in all honesty, if I remove a couple more bits and bobs here, I think I can do most of it from up the top here. And I'm sure when I did the camber on the old bus, I never took the fucking, uh, never put it in the air to do that. But we'll see. All right, now this is what I'm trying to get at. Discover where all this oil's from. So, this is not sponsored. This is fucking like five or six quid a fucking tin. It's the spray it and it turns into the like spandy foam shit. I swear by this shit. Turbos, EGRs, all sorts. Also good for cleaning engines. I'm gonna spread a fuck out of it down there and then I'll bring you back because um, obviously I can't do both things at once. Or I'll see if John wants to do some filming. But we'll see. Alright, first we're going to shake the shit out of this. I'm sorry I can't get a better angle or the light or... But then we're going to go, pretty much, anywhere where there's oil. And we're going to level this shit on. Now it does say to use in a well ventilated area. And I will vouch for that, it stinks. And I'm not sure how good it's going to be on the belt or whatever. Um, I'm going to wipe any excess off shortly, but the plan is to lever this shit in it, let it sit for 5-10 minutes, and then hopefully be able to get something to spray it off, then maybe run it, find this leak, and then be happy or be really sad, and on the lookout for another car for whatever this fetches for, for scrap. Because, uh, at the minute, that's the monetary situation. I hadn't allowed for the car dying. I didn't anticipate on this being as big a job as it turning into either. So if you're interested in a loose cedar, spares or repairs, it's got the sickest set of coilovers on ever. Uh, hit me up in the DMs, but now we wait, so I guess I'll bring you back when we're done. Alright, so what I've discovered so far, this light gets fucking hot, and it might set fire to that, so I've got to watch that. Um, but no, I got some sealant out from behind, I picked it out with a little pick from behind here. Now it looks pretty clean in there to be fair, otherwise... There was a little dribble that I noticed when we started taking this apart from there, so that that is a minor leak, but I'm looking over here now, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Let me see if I can get the camera in. Oh, we can't quite see the seal. Um, but this one, I think, is fucking leaking. It's not looking great. Can't really see. And I've just reapplied the Mr. Muscle down there. 
because it cleaned up up here a treat like as you can see but uh down there was still a bit thick so I'm just giving that another couple of minutes and I'll clean it out and then I'll bring you back all right so it seems I may have made a little bit of a discovery here we have here I believe it is the rocket cover gasket and if you look just here sealer now that goes around the top of this cup can you see it about oh, let me get screwed up it's not focusing very well but, yeah. oh this is odd that black th piece there that's where I got that extra sealer from and if we look down here there's an accumulation of oil and like I said I did see some drip if we look all the way along here we've got more fucked sealer more fucked sealer, oh bloody scratch my camera with a screwdriver, that's fucking handy um, I can't even pick this up more sealer now this is still going to be a bit of a pain in the ass job because I've got to take the camera off and whatever and I think that's a vacuum pump and I'm going to be 100% honest I do not know what the fuck I'm doing with that um, so I'm going to have to look into this a little bit more and then get back to you all but I think this may be the cause of my issues it's leaking down into here, it's flicking around on the belt which has ended up down there at the lowest point and then pissing out on my bus it's a theory I'm just going to go run that theory past my uh, mate who's a like proper mechanic and see what he fucking thinks of that idea. He's probably going to say, no Cotney, you fucking tired, it's not that. But we'll see. Well, I can only apologise for the wind. Tough fucking shit. I'm not a professional YouTuber, I don't have all these fancy fucking microphones and shit. That's the uh, cam covers which were levered in oil. John's going to clean them up. That's Mr Muscle on there. John's got a squirty bottle, he's going to clean them off for me nice and fucking spot on. I've just sent a video of me discovery to my mate Rick. Um, I'm going to see what he says, see what he reckons. Um, yeah, and go from there. So, probably going to call that an end to this video. Um, yeah, because I'm going to go and sit down, fucking have a thing, have a chat, and then decide what's going on. So all that will be in the next video. Um, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that bollocks. And if you didn't, go fuck yourself, no worries. Um, till next time, cheers.